So we're going to move on now because I think that the next project that I wanted to, to talk about it is like um, it's like something really like uh, different in some way. The the project that you did with Daniel Cockrell, uh -huh. uh, the destroying the lab for the sake of the experiment, which become this book, uh, which is like. Uh, incredibly designed uh, by Dominic Brookmark, uh, and and um, I, I feel like um, I feel like uh, again, sort of uh, Mark Power challenging himself, trying to do a, a project different. I like the fact that you engage with um, a different disciplinary, like you know, inviting a poet, or I don't know exactly how the relationship started, but uh, you working together, and it's not about almost sort of trying to illustrate each other's work. It's more about almost <coughs> like creating a, some kind of merging together to create some kind of new language. Is that, yeah. is that correct? Well, or, or uh, I maybe. I mean, I, it's I, I mean, it started very simply. It's a, yeah. fun, it's a, it's a very short but funny story. Is that I, Dan was a, a former photography student. I was his, lect his, t his tutor. And, uh, and I wanted to make some work about what it was, I was interested in this concept of Englishness because it was being talked to, this is pre-Brexit referendum now. And I was, I, I, and I asked Dan if he was interested in assisting me, you know, and I'd pay him a little bit of money and it would just be a bit of companionship for me. And uh, the, first, the first day we went out, you know, we drove somewhere in, in my van and it was pouring with rain. So I get out of the car and Dan sits in the car. I said, come on, Dan. He said, oh, no, no, it's raining. And he, he gets out his notebook, and I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm writing a poem. And I thought, so that night, I said, I think I paid him for one day's work. I said, so we're in the pub that night. I said, look, this isn't working, is it? Why don't we just do a project together? And normally speaking, when poets and photographers work, you know, it, that thing is combined like that. Mm. It's a photographer I illustrating a poem, or yeah, a poet or vice versa. making a poem about a ph photograph that he or she likes. And so the fact that we went and travelled together and experienced the same things, and then we involved this, uh, Dominic, the designer, to have carte blanche in trying to put image and text together in innovative ways. You know, it's not just picture with a poem underneath, you know, it's... Mm. We, it, it, but you use, yeah, I mean, if I could take some example of, of um, some of the work, and you use even the graphic... Yeah of the element of you found in the street yes. to actually write the poem as well, which yes. I think is very, exactly. very exactly. incredibly beautiful. Exactly. There, there's a lot of hidden things in there, and I think... <laughs> I, I think <laughs> Kodak! It's a good moment to start. So Dan and I um, <clears throat> decided that we would take some time over this project, because it, it, was, it was an interesting time, you know, the beginning of the... Tory austerity um, introduction and uh, the, definitely the rise of nationalism. Mm. And um, there was the beginnings of talk about a possible referendum, but uh, we finished the project Brexit. before the referendum itself. And then when we, when we published the work, uh, the referendum had already happened. And so um, it's, in a way, it's a, it's a book that Dan and I are really proud of because I think it was an important time, an important moment that led to that vote. And, you know, we're sitting here having this conversation and, you know, we still don't know what's going on and we're still, at the moment, the UK is still in Europe and we don't know, you know, what's happening. But it's, um, it's interesting, it's had, a, it's had a second sort of life, the work. And, um, yeah, it's... I wanted to make something that was quite experimental and, uh, you know, you, you touched upon trying to push myself into a, an area I was slightly uncomfortable with. I, I don't probably do that as much as I should, but with every project I do, I try to just, for my own, for my own sake, just push the boundary push a little bit. A bit yeah. um, I don't want to be completely out of my comfort zone because I just... I, I, I don't want to throw away everything I've learned. Sure. But I also don't think it's right to just sit on your laurels and just keep making the same work. I mean, that's just not interesting yeah. for, for the photographer, let alone the viewer. So it's... Um, I mean, it's a book that I recommend to everyone because um, I think it's... Um, um, I, th I think... I mean, the, the, the photo themselves basically really represent a very specific era of England 
pre-Brexit. Yes. And you understand also through looking at this photo and the language that mm. you saw through the poetry. I think also uh, because you I... You understand a bit better why people voted in yeah, some way. Yeah, absolutely you do. Brexit, and also I think I, I came to that work on the back of finishing The Sound of Two Songs. That's quite... Imp or in fact, the two overlap slightly. So I've been working in another country yeah. and then I'm suddenly back in Britain again with real relish to make work in my own country again. Yeah. Funnily enough, since the Brexit vote, I haven't been interested in making work here at all because I just, I'm so pissed off about the whole thing. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. But um, I feel like I've done my bit, so yeah. it exists. <laughs>